Now Israel has the hide to talk down Spain and Belgium. Both big countries. One of them, the home of the EU, Brussels. So, let me give you a bit of history. Belgium was once a Spanish dominion, the home of the EU. And Spain was once the mightiest empire and mightiest civilization on the planet in all Christendom. And that didn't happen for a few days. It happened for a quite a long time. And it was uh, the Spanish who sent us Europeans, in terms of a heritage, to the New World. So, none of these things Israel was responsible for. These great things that gave rise to the free world, the West. This beautiful new world we live in, with all its great luxuries, all its great offerings, anything good about it, derives from those first steps of the Queen Isabella and her husband, Ferdinand. Is there a relation between that queen and our family? I'm led to believe there is. Uh, you can Google it and do all your funny shit. Uh, there's a note in Wikipedia about Giovanni Abella, uh, Giovanni, if you want to call it that, uh, being a part of the royal family of Spain. And I think it is through her. I think it is through that line. So there's a lot of knowledge there from our family, considering too they pretty much uh, Next stop, have everything to do with politics and Malta still. I don't want to call it Rutma country, that's a bit over the top here. The, the Bela family don't look at uh, their people that way, uh, their fellow citizens. It's a, it's a matter of being on par or on level with your citizens, not how we run this. That's quite shocking. But the fact of the matter is, they've got the hide to talk down Spain and uh, Belgium, these fucking Israeli muppets. Unbelievable. These, first it was France, the home of uh, the Enlightenment, the home of the people who gave America independence. First it was France, first, he wanted, first the, the Israelis were trying to talk down the French, Macron, lecturing him. So they always give Westerners this condescending lecture. It's, it's, it's quite funny. Even their tone. What did he say, the Israeli ambassador? I have called them to give them a reprimand, as if he's got permission at all within the West to give any country, such as Spain or Belgium, a reprimand. This little weasel these bunch of effing muppets and troublemakers who have got no uh, who've got nothing to show for in the last 2,000 years they, they can barely trace themselves to, to ancient Israel although they sort of can but in the grand scheme of things all they've done since their inception 48 1948 is cause trouble and wars they've got nothing to contribute for to, to this world except killing 15,000 civilians so far after everything we've ever heard them talk about the Holocaust and they, they want to give the West a reprimand these people really are sons of arse clowns I can't really say it any clearer they're the offspring of arse clowns they're the offspring of troublemakers Sanchez uh, to give him a reprimand? Sanchez? A troublemaker? That is hilarious. To call Sanchez, to, to, to refer to him, to, to call him a supporter of terrorism, how can the world take Israel seriously? How can the world take Israel seriously at all? If they're calling Sanchez supporter of terrorism 
that's what they call him. That's what the Ripperman's for. The Ripperman is for Sanchez and uh, Mc something crew. I can't pronounce his name. It's uh, that's, I think it's McCrew. Doors closing. Please. Or something crew. De crew. I think it's De crew. The Belgian Prime Minister. I don't know too much about him, but I severely doubt he's a supporter of terrorism, seeing that he's the Prime Minister for the home country of the EU, who is very anti-terrorism, which uh, yeah, EU is very opposite of terrorism, quite on the exact opposite side. So him being that Prime Minister, and Sanchez being Sanchez, for Israel to say they're supporters of terrorism, just because they said that they recognise a Palestinian state, and because you can't kill civilians, See, look at what Sanchez says. He just says they have the right to defend themselves within the scope of the law and they, not to kill civilians. You've got to have your limits. The way he came across it was actually more spot on than what Macron or anyone else said. And to that, he's a yes, supporter of terrorism. Windsor. How can the world take Israel seriously? After, the, uh, after their ambassador mouthed off like that, Whilst they were being ultra kind, watch they were being super kind, but in a fair way, not in a politi not in a, a passive aggressive way or anything like that. It was very straightforward. It was very very straightforward. And apparently, their supporters of terrorism. Spain, Belgium. Are you, are you still not seeing this fucking theme of these, you know, these clowns in Israel? These. Clowns in Israel, they're unbelievably amusing. You can't get a better circus clown. Oh, they're as clown as a clown can get. And the West supports that. Unbelievable. A reprimand. A reprimand to Sanchez. A reprimand to DeCrew. As supporters of terrorists. The leaders of Spain and Belgium. Supporters of terrorists. Oh, Jesus Christ, if Britain, if London have the audacity to support Israel now, it's... <sighs> there was once upon a time, London said, let's set Europe on fire. If Britain don't call their fucking retard in Israel, perhaps it should be the other way around this time. And Europe can do it very easily. Very, very easily. So that's what I would do. To call, just for calling Sanchez a terror supporter. I've, I know the Maltese back to front. I, I know a thing or two that others don't know. And you're talking about the most fucking, probably the most peaceful leader on the planet. So it's quite it's quite amusing. Is this very very classical, very classical type of peaceful person? It's a uh, something that used to be. It, it's something likened to this what we used to see in the Middle Ages, but Windsor. not with the violence. It's he's a very very classical peaceful person. Doors Spanish style. Please stand clear. Everybody in Malta knows of that in the political circles. He's just so re not regal, but he's just so calm, collected, fair, peaceful. Oh, he's a great leader. He's probably the best looking fucking politician in the on the planet, not just Europe. And by far. I can't believe they call Prince William the best looking. He looks like a fucking cheese baked penis cake compared to Sanchez. Sanchez <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Next. Oh my god. Yeah. Even Big Bob, even Robert's better looking than him. The Prime Minister of Malta. I'd be hella. Even Robert's fucking better looking than William, Jesus Christ. But Sanchez, no, he's not just good looking, he's. His peace, his way of doing things is very good looking, much better looking. So he's there for a reason, not just because he's good looking. Um. Wow. Wow. I think Israel has just sentenced itself to 
the oblivion.